Michelle, I did a little research on these little breathalyzers. Most of them are small enough to fit in your pocket. Some of them even small enough to fit on your keychain. Prices range from just a few bucks to a few hundred dollars. But we wanted to know, do they work well enough that you can maybe use them to avoid a DUI? A quick breath of air, and there are instant results. This breathalyzer is one of many models that are sold at several stores. But how do they differ from the machines police use to determine if a driver is impaired? You just don't know the reliability of the device. You know, we, uh, we take great care in the machines that we use, make sure they're calibrated every week. Uh, there's a diagnostic check that's done. And then we also use a solution that comes from the Department of Health with a known value. The careful maintenance done on those machines means they're admissible in a court of law. Sergeant Gebhardt says these consumer models aren't. And there are other factors to keep in mind. This device can't tell you if your alcohol level is moving, making a low reading obsolete just a few minutes later. So to get a more accurate reading, you'd actually have to, to take a test several times through the duration of the evening to see whether or not you're rising or you're actually decreasing. To the manufacturer's credit, there is a warning on the back of the box in fine print that reads, this device is not to be used to determine if the subject is legal or able to operate any equipment or vehicle. And police have another tool in their arsenal. Just because you test a certain limit doesn't mean you're not going to be arrested for OVI. If a coordination test shows that you are impaired, you can still be arrested and charged with OVI. They're good for entertainment purposes, but the best advice I can give is just don't drink and drive. I did talk to several officers about this issue. They do admit that those things can be used for educational purposes to show you about how your body reacts to alcohol, but they do warn that many things play into your alcohol level, like how much you had to eat that day, how fast you drank the alcohol, your metabolism, even if you're on any other medication. So keep that in mind, and as he said, best advice, just don't drink and drive. Reporting live, Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.